welcome to Jack Scraps. Today I would like to share with you a mixed media art journal that I've created. It is a three ring um, journal that is blank and on the front it has a art um, image from Jane Davenport. I've laminated it so that you could actually see through the edge of it and then see the tabs in case you want to put labels on them. And on the back side it has a hard back so that if you're drawing or painting, you'll have some stability. On the inside is a pocket and it has a Heidi Swap mink tag where I have foiled it with the multicolor decorative foil. And inside the pocket is a disbursement card for writing or drawing as well. Now what's neat about this journal is that each of the tabs are treated and they have um, the ability to, you know, if you spray it, it will adhere to it and create the design just like this. I use Dioxide Distress from Tim Holtz. I applied it to this little flag here or arrow and this was the outcome so I thought I would share with you what it would look like so these are Heidi Swap's treated embellishments and these are sunglasses so I'm going to use Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Wilted Violet And then what you do is you can wipe away the excess and there you go. So you can also spray these and get the same effect, but I wanted to show you the non-spray um, type today. So that'll be fun for you to create. You could spray multicolors, you could spray one, such as Dilutions, or you have the Tim Holtz Dispress sprays that you could use, or any that you make of your own. So behind the first tab is Mixed Media Paper. There are different sizes in case you wanted to do a spread across. Here I've added some more decorative paper and another little tag that I have deco foiled. You can write or put a photo on the back or draw on the back as well. Here's another one, another suction. In this section you have canvas and I've provided white and the cream canvas. I really like this one. This is more like an oatmeal color, I guess. On the back of the white, it doesn't have paper, but on the back of the cream color one or oatmeal color one, it does have a paper on the back. So you could probably um, draw or paint or whatever you would like to do on both sides of the white. Here's the next tab. Behind this you will find watercolor paper. It's cold press. Here's the next section and in there you'll have a little pocket that has some goodies in it. I included some more of the Heidi Swap embellishments that you will be able to color. This one actually pops out. It's a butterfly and it will leave the butterfly image on the circle. And then you'll have a sampling of the Jane Davenport washi tape.
Over here is a little piece of burlap and it has a fashion pen and two charms. One says imagine, the other says made with love. Here is some craft corrugated board. And here is some black drawing paper. Now this is really great to use with gel pens or white pens. I just love the vibrancy of the pens when you're using it on black. Now in this section, we have drawing paper. Here is a Jane Davenport deco page divider. And then we have newsprint. Another divider, and then it has a little pocket and another deco boiled tag for you. And this is sketch paper. And that's it. When you do mixed media or art journaling or drawing, sometimes you need a prompt to get you going. So I've created a little stack of 14 prompts that I came up with and I hope that you will enjoy them. Here's one that says watch the clock. So if you turn it over it'll actually tell you a little bit more about that prompt. It says give yourself a certain amount of time to create. So let's say you set 15 minutes on your clock. See what you can create within that time frame. Here's another one. I see, now draw me. Capture whatever you are looking at. See beyond the image and hone in on a particular item or image. That will actually get you to focus more on recreating an image that you see, maybe even delving down into your feelings, how you, how you feel at that moment. It'll be interesting to see what comes of that. Just take these little prompts and just see where it leads you. I wrote them as if you're kind of talking to yourself like this one, hide my secrets. Write out your feelings or secret and then paint over them. So you could turn to the sketch paper or drawing paper, use a pen and write out what you're feeling or your secret and then you can start taking paint and paint over it and then start creating a image or something that, you, a scenery, something that you would like and no one will know that you're hiding your feelings or secrets within the journal. It'll be really fun to try out. I hope you like this. Thank you for watching and this will be for sale on my Etsy shop.